Starting your own online business from home might not be a quick process, but it's certainly one of the most rewarding things you will ever do for yourself. There is nothing as satisfying as working for yourself and focus on your own passions. And all it takes is find the right online business idea, niche and target audience to jumpstart your entrepreneurial dream. I'm Bruno Cimeiro, in this video we're going to talk about how to start an online business from home and I'm going to share with you 9 steps to successfully launch your online business. Whether or not you have a particular experience or skill, you can start an online business simply using a computer and Wi-Fi connection. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything when I come up with new content. Also, while you're watching, let me know if you ever tried to start an online business and what are some of the challenges you had to face in the comment section below. There may be people that have been through these similar challenges that can help you in some way. Without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Now, about starting an online business. Put simply, an online business is one that sells something on the internet. Be it a product, service, download, subscription, or any advertising, usually via website or social media. You may be wondering, why start an online business in the first place? Why not go with physical one instead? In today's connected world, where technology affords us more flexibility in how and where we work, home-based business come in variety of forms. And here are some of the main reasons you should start an online business. First, it is fairly inexpensive to start. A lot of people want to start a business, but the investment required to get it off the ground is frightening. You have to pay for a lease, purchase inventory and budget for employees' salaries. It is feasible to launch an online business with $100 as a starting capital, in some cases way less than that. Of course, the more starting money you have, the more online business idea you can pursue. But the point is that you don't need to risk your life saving to become a successful online entrepreneur. Second, it has a major potential and growth. When you have a physical business, you have to deal with the limitation of the real world. When you have an online business though, your audience is global, meaning that you can sell to anyone no matter where they live. And with each passing year, your pool of potential customers expand because more people are getting comfortable with the idea of online business. More people online, more potential exposure for your online brand, especially if you don't mind taking your online business across the border. 30. It can run 24-7. Another advantage online business have over physical business is that they can stay open 24-7 even through lockdowns and other disruption. Since you don't need to be physically present to make a sale, your business can generate revenue with less day-to-day -day involvement. Now that you know about some of the advantages of having an online business, let's see what business model you can start online. Option number one, get into dropshipping. Dropshipping is an online fulfillment method that allows you to sell physical goods without keeping inventory yourself. Here is how it works. The customers order a product on your e-commerce website. You forward the order to manufacturer, the manufacturer then ship the product directly to the customers. Dropshipping is an attractive option for those who want to get into e-commerce without assuming the financial risk that comes with carrying on an inventory. Although dropshipping is appealing, it has some disadvantages too. This includes low profit margins, slow shipping speed and lack of control over the supply chains, among others. Option number two, become an affiliate. Affiliate marketing is worth considering if you want to start an online business but aren't interested in creating your own products. It is a very popular way to make money online. You simply promote somebody else's product in return for a commission. Here is how affiliate marketing works. First, sign up for an affiliate program then select someone else's products to promote to your audience. This can be any digital product such as an ebook, an online course, or a physical good. Then get paid a commission for each sales generated through your referral links. You can promote affiliate products on YouTube, blog, and other social media. Successful online businesses that start out selling affiliate products tend to eventually release their own goods. You can make much more money from the same amount of traffic that way. Third option, offer website service. You can learn the basics of website designs via e-learning platforms and experimentation. Then create a portfolio website to start attracting clients. 
or register with a freelance marketplace such as Hopwork, Fiverr. Uh, by the way, you don't have to be a full-time freelancer, but do a web design as a side hustle. Now, how to start your online business? Here are the nine steps that I'm going to share with you to start your online business. First, you need to determine your niche and business idea. A business niche stands for your focus area, a market segment and target audience you primarily cater to. You need to pick a niche for your new business. To find a good one, check that your target audience has a problem no one else is solving well enough, willingness to pay for a solution to that problem, or sufficient discretionary income to afford the solution that you are offering. Please avoid the niche that don't meet this criteria because that would make building an online business hard. When you go after people who don't need your product, can afford them or aren't interested, you make things even harder for yourself. Second, conduct a product research. You can sell products online such as physical goods, which are materials, objects that need to be manufactured, stored in a warehouse and shipping to the customers. Also digital downloads. You know, anything a customer can download to their device such as ebook, audio, courses, online course, etc. Digital products have high profit margin compared to physical goods. And then we have service. Almost any service available remotely can be sold online. Selling service is the fastest way to start an online business and turning a profit. Third, learning about online business law. Small business owners may assume that because they are running an online business, traditional business law don't apply to that. That's not true. While an online business requires fewer licenses and permits compared to a physical business operation, you still need to, show, to sort several important legal details. Fourth, conduct market research. Learning what your target audience wants, need or lack by conducting online market research. When you conduct online market research, you are simply gathering information about the market you will enter in as well as your competitor and customers. This is an essential step in starting your online business as it helps you to determine if there is a healthy demand for what you plan to sell. Step number five, define your target audience. Your target audience is a group of individuals sharing similar traits or needs that your online business is aiming to serve it. Therefore, they are mostly likely to purchase your product or service. Step number six, Evaluate product viability. You want to holistically evaluate your product viability before purchase or manufacturing a big order. To do that, ask yourself some question like, is there a successful online business already selling products like that? Is the demand for this product sustainable or is it temporary? Does the math behind this product make sense? Can you sell it to a profit? Remember, it doesn't matter how cool the product seems. What is important is that it is viable from a business perspective. Step number seven, define your brand and imaging. A brand is the overall vibe of your business. You want everything from your business name to your web design and copy to convey a consistent visual image and ideas. The same also applies to your offsite presence like social media, email newsletter, and even packaging. As you work on your brand identity, pay attention to your logo, color scheme, page layout, typography, graphic, and photos. You know, your brand image should be a result of all these elements working together. Step number eight, launch social media channels. Nowadays, it is crucial to have some kind of social media presence. Essentially a free marketing tool, social media has millions of daily users across the globe. This means there are plenty of opportunities to get your business in front of potential customers on these platforms. Step number nine, launch your online business. Once you are open for business, there are some important steps you will need to take to ensure it is continuity success. You see, the action you take after a sale as well as how you measure and drive growth are vital steps that can either make or break your online venture. After launching your online business, it is time to attract traffic to your online business through email marketing. 
which is the practice of sending regular marketing emails such as newsletters to your customers and fans in order to keep them engaged with your brand, keep them abreast of your news and specials offers. Gather email addresses for your send list by adding a sign up form to your website and share it among your social media followers. Follow these 9 steps and you will be on the road to online business success in no time. Now I really hope that you've got some values from this video. And if so, leave some thumbs up and if you have any question, just ask in the comment section below. Also, if you want to learn about the simplest way you can start an online business from scratch and learn how to earn a commission with somebody else's products by becoming an affiliate, just click the first link right below this video. It is a free online e training that will teach you all the basic steps that you need to launch your online business successfully. So I really hope that you've got some tremendous values from this video. So have a great day. See you. Take care.